All right, this is lesson uh, 12 for Algebra 1. Today we're looking at multiplying. So we've done add, subtract, multiply, and divide any number. Now we're going to add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions specifically. And we're specifically looking at multiplying fractions. And this is just a basic concept, again, that you need to know in math. Multiplying fractions, you're just going to see them all through your math life. And um, it's important to use them in real life because sometimes you have to multiply things out. For example, a recipe. Let's say your recipe says you need two-thirds cup of sugar for this many, but you, need, you know you need to make a lot. You need to make five batches of cookies. So how do you multiply? How do you know how much you're going to do all at once? Okay, Or you might be a bakery, right? And you're like, okay, I made this bread at home. This is my new recipe. I love it. I'm going to bake it at my new bakery. I'm not just going to make one loaf, but I'm going to make like 50 loaves because I know they'll sell out, right? So you got to multiply everything times 50 So because you have a, a lot of machines and mixing uh, equipment that you use. So anyways, it's really important to know how to multiply fractions, okay? So here are the steps. If you're on the video, just pause it right now. You can see the steps. Otherwise, I'm going to do numbers 1 and 2, so watch carefully. Okay, 1 half times 5 sixths. First thing I'm going to do is ask myself, are there any mixed numbers? There are no mixed numbers. The second thing I'm going to do is see if I could simplify. You could only simplify all eyes up here right now. Eyes up here, eyes up here at the board. You could only simplify above and diagonally. So does 1 go into 2? No. Does 1 go into 6? No. So we can't simplify. How about 5? Does one, 5 go into 6? No. How about 5 go into 2? No. So we've already checked every possibility, so we're going to just multiply. Now I just multiply numerator with numerator. 1 times 5 is going to be 5. 2 times 6 is going to be 6. Oh, I'm sorry, 12. 2 times 6 is 12. Sorry about that. And then lastly, I want to see if I can simplify any more. 5 twelfths. Can I do anything else? No, 5 twelfths is my final answer. So. I'm going to write that down, 5 twelfths. That's it, okay? Eyes up here still. So watch me do it again one more time. So what did I just do? Again, I see, checked if I could uh, simplify. Then I multiplied across 1 times 5 is 5. 2 times 6 is 12. Simplified. That's it, okay? There was nothing to simplify. Number 2, we got negative 3 eighths times 2 fifths. So we know it's a negative times a positive. So my answer has to be negative, right? Negative times a positive is negative. All right? Seeing if there are any mixed numbers, there aren't, so seeing if I could next simplify. Three times three doesn't go into eight. There's nothing that goes, no factors that go into both three and eight. There are no factors that go into both three and five. So we leave next thing we're gonna check is two. No factors that go into two and five. Is there a factor that goes into two and eight? Yeah, two, right? So two divided by two is really one. Eight divided by two is four. Okay? Now I can multiply numerator times numerator, so it's gonna be 3 times 1, right, is equal to 3, and 4 times 5 is 20, and thankfully I checked my positive and negative, so it's positive times a negative is still a negative, and can't simplify anymore, so that's my answer, so I'm boxing it, that's it, negative 3 twentieths is the answer. Any questions on this? Raise your hand if you've seen this before. Okay, good, so this is going to be a lot easier than yesterday's lesson, okay, so I'm sure we're going to get through it very quickly. Turn your neighbor one, sell two is about number one, two sell one is about number two. Ready, set. Number three, we're all working on number three. Two ninths times five seven, so you can work with this one on your neighbor. Is there anything we could simplify at all? Two doesn't go into nine or seven, five doesn't go into seven or nine, there's nothing, okay? So, work out your... So, two... again, three was uh, two ninths. Oh, sorry about that. Try this again going on sorry my internet's a little slow here okay so two two times five was ten and nine times seven was sixty three so a number four number four one third times two point five. Two point five is really what fraction? Two and one half, right? So would y'all agree that it's like this? Yes. How do we convert two and a half into improper? Remember the first step? Two times two is? Four. 
plus one is five. So our numerator is going to be five halves, okay? Or, yeah, five, and then our denominator is two. So you go one third times five halves. So that's really what it is, okay? So sometimes you kind of have to get the numbers to work for you. Okay, give you a moment to multiply that. Good, five sixths is the answer. Okay. Next, number five. Okay, number five. How, what does four sevenths to the third really mean? <coughs> someone raise your hand. I heard someone say it. Yep. We're multiplying by itself. So what's the problem really asking for? What should I write? Yep. Good. 4 over 7 times 4 over 7 times 4 over 7. Okay. Now I got a question for each of these. Can we simplify 4 into any of these 7s? Yes or no? Or vice versa? Can we? Is there anything we could simplify? No. So you're going to multiply numerator times numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator times denominator. Okay. So let's have you do that. Ready, set, go. Y'all got it. I, 4 times 4 times 4, 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 again is 64. 7 times 7 is 49, times 7 again is 343. Since we couldn't simplify anything before multiplying, we shouldn't have to simplify here. Okay, so with that said, let's have you do number 6 by yourselves all the way through. Okay, last problem. 1 third, times, or one third of the fourth is like saying 1 third times 1 third times 1 third times 1 third, right? And 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 is just 1. Denominator 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, times 3 again is 81, okay? And that's it, okay? Pretty easy, right? Another way you could have multiplied it out, you could have done 3 times 3 is 9 on each of these. And then what's 9 times 9? 81, right? We already know that. So there's you don't always have to multiply straight across, all right? That's it. So this concludes the lesson. What I'd like you to do right now is uh, clean up the whiteboards.